Hi everybody, it's 11-3-2017, November 11, November 4 is the day that Antifa is calling for protests around the nation and the New York Times on November 1 placed this ad. This nightmare must end. The Trump-Pence regime must go. November 4. It begins. Be there. Join with the thousands who will gather in cities and towns across the country. A movement of protest that continue every day and night, growing until we become millions, determined not to stop until this regime is driven from power. This regime, I have posted videos on Antifa, and what they claim is the Trump-Pence regime is not legitimate is not legitimate, really. Obama, his regime was legitimate. Clinton's, Bush's. <laughs> it is truly amazing to me, truly amazing that Americans are allowing this to go on. Believing the horseshit of mainstream media, the crap that they get from mainstream media. In the other video that I posted, I think the latest or the, the uh, most recent Antifa video that I posted uh, showing that mainstream media is supporting Antifa, claiming that it's not violent. My God, my God, all you have to do is go on YouTube and you will see how incredibly violent everywhere Antifa goes, violence breaks out. And the, the, uh, my, my God, here, Antifa violence, 328,000 results. What is this if Antifa is not violent? And the New York Times had posted an ad for RefuseFascism.org, which is a front group founded by the Revolutionary, uh, the Co uh, Revolutionary Communist Party, promoting Antifa protests or Refuse Fascism Communist protests, and they ran that full-page ad in the New York Times to gin up support for the mayhem that was unleashed on President Donald Trump's inauguration where you just saw these fascist communist thugs who beat up people who have a different view, a different take, a different opinion. Yes, refuse fascism. If they were so concerned about fascism, they would have been protesting decades ago when corporations had taken over our government. But no, they're now just protesting fascism. Somehow Trump unleashed all the fascists in America to come on out. All the Nazis, they claim alt-right is uh, their Nazi white supremacists. Alt-right? Really? <laughs> you, you, how many Americans are letting mainstream media dictate to them who these groups are? They don't do any research, so they believe the crap they hear. Antifa attacked father and son in Berkeley. Um, <laughs> this is Antifa. <laughs>
Yeah, not violent, not violent. Uh, Portland, Oregon, their uh, Oregon Live, the Oregonian anti-fascist group plans downtown rally, says claims of planned violence a hoax. Well, that is how mainstream media has been presenting Antifa. Like all of these young people, they just don't want white supremacy and they don't want Nazis and they don't want racism. Uh, they're social justice warriors. Yes, fighting fascists is not a crime. No, it's not. But you should have started decades ago because we have been living in a fascist nation for decades. Oh, right. Uh, Americans, they love their lies. They love their pretense. They love to live in their delusion that our government still is uh, what? Oh, a democracy. That's right. It's a democracy. Is it a democracy or is it a constitutional republic? Did they start calling our country a democracy because they wanted to social engineer Americans into forgetting that they actually live in a constitutional republic? <sighs> Those of you who are thinking that these calls for these protests on November 4, tomorrow, if you think, and I am not saying, because I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. And if anybody claims to know, well, they are clearly, either they've gotten some inside information or you know, they're, they're just stating something that's not true. Not true. So nothing may happen tomorrow, or a whole lot may happen tomorrow. But to claim, as in the video that I recently posted on Antifa, which was, I think, a Newsweek piece on Antifa, claiming that they were violent, that it's a hoax, that it's not true, it is absolutely true. But, oh, that's right, New York Times, they won't go to YouTube. How dare they go to YouTube to find out, to do some research for themselves. They don't go to YouTube. They want to stick their nose in the New York Times and feel like they're reading the best, most prestigious paper in the world. The smartest, the most intelligent read, the New York Times, right? The liberal, progressive, educated elite. They go to the New York Times thinking that they're actually reading something that is worthy. And it's trash. It's literal trash. Dressed up in nice language, big words. But it's bullshit. It's fake news. And it's promoting an agenda. And this is the sickening part. It's promoting an agenda. For a communist takeover in America when these reporters, when these journalists have lived the kind of freedom that the younger generations now don't even know. They've never even experienced the freedom that we experienced. And these journalists actually claim to be journalists, don't do any kind of research to find out what Antifa really is. Have they gone through the history of Antifa? Antifa, these groups, historically bring about chaos and violence in countries for the radical change into communism. And here you have the New York Times promoting it as most mainstream media is doing exactly that. <laughs> yes, New York Times. I don't care how pretty you are. I don't care how fabulous and erudite your language is. You're worse than the National Enquirer because the National Enquirer actually does report some truth. It's disgusting. And yeah, I do get upset with people who refuse, who refuse to do any research. All of these people reading these crap articles, they just can't go. They just cannot go 
and check out for themselves that everywhere Antifa goes, violence follows. So to allow this refuse fascism group to post this ad in the New York Times and then not even do a story on the true objectives of Antifa, the true objectives of refuse fascism, which is to cause chaos and violence so widespread in the United States that their objective is to get millions involved to literally turn our country into a communist nation. They won't do the research to find out and report that this group is funded by George Soros. But the history is staring you right in the face. News flash to media, Antifa is communist. If you have not bookmarked New American, I do recommend it. Yes, here you can read about Antifa being a fascist communist group. Oh, but they claim not to be. Oh, oh, might they be lying? You know, this man has posted this video, gotten an awful lot of views, but I have to tell, I tell you, he really points out how incredibly stupid are the members of Antifa. Let's see if it works. What are we protesting? Well, there are a bunch of alt-right people over there, and which that's pretty much synonymous with neo-Nazis, and I don't like them in my backyard, so I'm here to just be like, hey, stop that. Very cool. Yeah, me too. Um, what? How do you define alt-right? What is the alt-right? Uh, it's this kind of like newer rightist ideology that tries to... I feel like I'm an idiot because I'm on the spot right now, but... Well, what's your number one issue with him? What do you hate about him the most? The fact that it's 2017 and we're having to protest against Nazis. I, I, okay, you know, this guy clearly has done no research and has no no clue what the hell is happening in his own nation. He wears a Black Lives Matter t-shirt and he's white and he's thinking probably that he's a social justice warrior too. But has he looked into Black Lives Matter and how that too is funded by George Soros? No! Has anybody on the liberal side... <clears throat> Well, I, I, I'm sorry. They were my friends. They were the educated elite. They wouldn't do any research to find out what's happening in our country. They have to believe the lies because they are comfortable. They love, love living a complete and utter delusion because it requires nothing of them. They're lazy, irresponsible. People who have pitted themselves on the side of evil, of the enemy. If you can't even look into what is behind all of this, you are the enemy. Black Lives Matter, funded by George Soros. And this guy's standing there, and he's so proud to wear that t-shirt, this white man. They don't even know what they're doing. They don't even know what they are doing. The issue with him, what do you hate about him the most? The fact that it's 2017 and we're having to protest against Nazis. I... Okay, so why are you protesting against Nazis? How did the Nazis just get unleashed with Trump being in the White House? Really? Was Trump a Nazi before? Was he a racist before? Trump has been in mainstream media for decades and decades. Oh, wow, did he really just marvel at all of the coverage that uh, he garnered from mainstream media. No one ever called him a Nazi. No one ever called him alt-right. No one ever called him a racist. No one ever called him or aligned him with any white supremacist, Nazi groups, racist groups. No. How did this all start? It started to bring about chaos and violence widespread chaos and violence all over the country. And if people can't see that, yes, there are people behind the curtain orchestrating all of this, then I, I, 
then people have <laughs> they don't have a brain cell working in their body anymore working in their brain I'm here standing up against uh, racism and the Nazis I thought we got rid of them over like 50 to well, like 70 years ago but they're coming back how many do you think there are in the US right now too many numbers what do you see what's on that guy's head do you see are you gonna really take that guy seriously who is <laughs> I mean are you kidding me? These people, what the hell is wrong with these people? Oh, my God. I mean, numbers wise, the Nazis do have a smaller uh, contingency in the US, it's only about 500. Do you think giving them the attention is almost doing more bad than good? Well, that's probably registered Nazis. Did any Nazis show up on the other side? Uh, you know, they've been walking around. I've seen a couple you know, actual Nazis. Who knows what they are? All I know is they're talking race hate. What are, the, what are the, some of the things they're saying that makes you think they might be Nazis? What makes them think that, well, they're talking race hate. And I didn't say they were Nazis. <laughs> That's just the atmosphere of today. Oh, it's the atmosphere of today. Nazi. Nazi atmosphere. Yeah, well, uh, racist hate talk. Oh, okay. Well, what have they been saying? Well, I don't know, but it's racist hate talk. These people, you listen to them, and they make absolutely no sense. No sense. So it strikes me as very odd that you have people in our mainstream media who actually claim that this group is fighting fascism when, when they are wanting to bring it right smack into the United States, but it's here already, but they're working towards making this country a communist nation, but they never mention that. And these mainstream media reporters and journalists and all involved promoting this group and when you go to YouTube and actually listen to Antifa members they sound like morons. Very cool. What are some of the things you're hearing that are racist and inappropriate? Uh, you name it, they said it. Is <laughs> oh, that tonight or just, just in general? Tonight, today. Yeah, today. So the alt-right, I would call it a loose connection of these this new wave of right-wing sort of um, not radicals, but they, they have a strong emphasis on white supremacy, is what I would say. Or, or maybe not even white supremacy, but more capitalism and closed borders. Just uh, immigrants are what make our country great, and, they're, and Trump's out here just trying to stop them from coming in and helping us. How many um, immigrants do you think we should, we should be able to bring in a year? Uh, I need to do my research on, to get an exact number for you. But in my opinion, we got a t we have a ton of land, especially like an, a, a lot in the Midwestern states. But now they're living comfortably and pointing their finger at new immigrants and saying, go home. Well, it's hypocritical. They need to remember where their ancestors came from. You know what? These people drive me nuts. They are so ignorant. It is beyond belief. They are so programmed to say what they say. They're not even thinking about what they are saying. Nobody is anti-immigrant. Nobody that I know of wants immigrants to never come to this country again. Yes, this country is an immigrant country. We just simply want our immigration laws enforced. And we know what is behind the breaking down of borders, which is to bring in the new world order. But these people who think that they're actually fighting something legitimate, they do not understand that they are being so manipulated to be the useless idiots, useful only in bringing in a radical change to what was the freest nation in the world. And once that change is official, these useful idiots turn into useless idiots and they're gotten rid of and they have no clue what is coming. No clue. Um, there's a reason why they're called useful idiots, because they have no idea what they're saying. They have no idea what they're doing. None. Here, this is how much Antifa, Antifa, <laughs> 
wants uh, to eradicate fascism in the United States. Watch how they love the flag. <laughs> yeah, they love America. They want freedom. Well, our flag always stood for freedom, right? They are socialist, communist, fascist thugs who want to unleash an awful lot of violence and chaos tomorrow and never stopping until they get rid of that Trump Pence regime that they claim to be Ill illegitimate. Um, I advise everyone to stay away from those cities and I will link below to my video on all of the cities. Um, or let me just take you to refusefascism.org which is obviously where the New York Times want their readers to go. No, in the name of humanity, we must refuse to accept fascist America. Donate. Find a protest. Join us. Welcome, New York Times readers. <laughs> wow. Welcome, New York Times readers. Yeah. Help support the bringing in of communism. Don't do any research. Just help these young people fight fascism in America. Take to the streets and public squares. Where are these cities? Jump to a city. Click here for local meetings and click here to start a protest in your city. And look at all these cities. Okay, well, you can check out all of the cities in this list and they've got one going in Akron, in Atlanta, in Austin, in Boston, in Chicago, in Cincinnati, in Falmouth, 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 Massachusetts. That's right, Massachusetts where that first shot was heard around the world to bring in the freest nation in the world. And now Massachusetts with all those liberal progressive educated idiots well, who won't do any research, they'll believe the New York Times, and they then will be associated with the closing of the freest nation in the world to bring in communism. Yes, Honolulu, Indianapolis, Los Angeles, Miami, Minneapolis, uh, another group in Minneapolis, New York City, Philadelphia, Pittsfield, Massachusetts. That was 20 minutes away from liberal Great Barrington, Massachusetts, where I lived. The Berkshires, the beautiful Berkshires of Massachusetts. <sighs> yeah, and I do know an awful lot who, if I just asked them to do the research on Antifa, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, what, you want me to go to YouTube? Portland, Oregon. Salem, Oregon, San Francisco, Seattle, Tucson, connect, donate, share, spread, chaos, violence, all over the United States. Got a lot of comments from people with my Antifa videos, uh, and I was saying, just don't go, don't go, don't be a useful idiot to get these uh, violent protests bigger and stronger. You engage in this and you know what these protests are about. You then step right smack over the line into the enemy party, bringing about the chaos and violence that they want you to bring about. You become a useful idiot. Don't participate. Don't participate in this. And for those of you who just claim nothing's going to happen, you're a fear monger. <laughs> People must think that I like sit here trembling in fear. I'm not. But I do understand that we have psychopaths in charge and they have objectives to bring about 
a communist new world order. And they will stop at nothing. And they don't care about life. So they will, if they can get away with it, pull off events that could hurt an awful lot of people, that could end up taking people's lives. I don't put anything past them. And that is all I am saying. So all links are below.